Well, it's Beverly here over at Crafty Chaos with part two of our embellishment series. In this series, I'm going to show you how to make a series of different flowers using very similar techniques. First, I'm going to select a shape that's suitable for a petal and resize it. I'm going to shrink it in the width just using the um, square handles until I like the size and shape of the, sh of the petal. I'm then going to fill it with colour so it's easier to see on the screen. Okay. Then I'm going to duplicate it by clicking D on my keyboard or you could go edit and duplicate. Select both petals and align them on the vertical axes. I'm then going to edit and group them. Once they're grouped, I need to duplicate them four, three more times so I have four lots of petals in total. I then highlight them all and centre them on the vertical and on the horizontal axes. I click off the file and click on the top so only the top one is collected, selected. I'm then going to click on the properties box and I'm going to rotate that top layer by 45 degrees. I will click on the next on the layer in the centre and rotate this time by 90 degrees. I will then for a final time, click on the top layer and rotate by 135 degrees. This will perfectly position my petals so that they are equidistant apart. <clears throat> I'm then going to select a circle which will enable me to weld them together at the centre. So I'm just checking the fit there. If I'm happy, I'm going to put it to the side, highlight all of my petals and group them. I will then take my circle, place it at the centre I'm going to select yellow I'm going to then line up the circle and the petals using my edit align vertically and horizontally to make sure that circle is at the centre then edit process overlap and weld that's created us a nice day, eight, eight petals daisy shape which we can shrink to any size we choose. I'm going to show you a sec second flower now so I'm going to select a different shape for my petal and I'm selecting this shape with the little um, sort of notch cut out of the end. Same, same sort of ideas I'm going to fill it this time with blue and I am going to duplicate it and flip it on the horizontal axes and then I'm going to select both and centre them on the vertical axes. I'm then going to group them, edit group and I'm going to make three more copies so I have four total and align them one on top of the other by edit vertic uh, so align vertical and horizontal. I'm then going to click off and click on the top layer and repeat. 35 degrees, 90 degrees and 135 degrees. Made a little error there typing in so I'm going to reset that and click on the top one again and this time I will click on 135 not 155. That will then space out our petals evenly. I'm going to group them then I'm going to get a circle so that I can weld them together. So I'm going to find the circle, bring it onto the mat, resize it, place it over the centre, select both the circle and the petals, edit and align on the vertical, edit align on the horizontal and then edit process overlap and weld. And now we have another completely different style with those little fluted edges it looks a little bit like a cornflower to my mind um, what I'm going to do now is show you another flower I'm going to do this by selecting the teardrop petal shape I'm going to stretch it out and set it to a size that I like the size and shape of I'm then going to duplicate it and I am going to flip it horizontally and position it 
so that the flat edges of the petal are facing outwards. Highlight both petals, line them centrally and then I'm going to group them. I'm going to make some duplicates, this time three total. I'm going to align all of the petals by selecting them all and aligning them first on the vertical and on the horizontal axes. I will rotate them now by selecting the top layer, rotating firstly by 120 and then secondly by 240. This will give us a six petaled shape like this. I am then going to group them, get myself a circle, add that to the project, resize it, center it in the petals, select both the petals and the circle align vertically and horizontally. Then I will edit and process overlap and weld them together. Now we have a six petal shape that can again be resized and we have now created three entirely different flowers for use in our project. I'm now going to show you one extra little step you can do by duplicating one of them but this would work for any and rotating one of the flowers this time by 22.5 degrees. I will then need to select both of those flowers, align them centrally on the vertical axis and centrally on the horizontal axis. You can see now I've got a many petaled shape which I can then group and if desired weld. This is also resizable and usable in your projects. That's it for now. You should save your project as something like flower embellishments. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed the video. This was part two of our embellishment series. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.